October 31, 2025, scientists expected another icy wanderer, another interstellar drifter slipping quietly through our system, leaving little more than data points and dust. Instead, three I Atlas reappeared from behind the sun and shattered nearly every rule in the comet playbook. Its chemistry, its color, its orbit, none of it makes sense. Even the best models can't fully explain what we're seeing. If the data hold true, this object could reshape our understanding of how life begins in the universe, or expose fundamental gaps in physics itself. The question now isn't just what 3i Atlas is made of, but why it exists at all. As the calendar ticked toward late October, tension built across observatories worldwide. For eight long days, the object was hidden behind the sun. Telescopes went blind, sensors saturated and speculation filled the silence. Would it survive perihelion? Would it fragment? Or worse, would it vanish altogether? Then came October 31st. The first post-conjunction images arrived. What appeared on those screens defied every expectation. The coma had changed. The brightness, the color, even the orbital trace, it all pointed to a transformation. Something fundamental had shifted while it was hidden from view. To understand how we got here, we need to rewind to July. That first detection triggered a global scientific mobilization. Teams from Hawaii, Chile, South Africa, and the European Southern Observatory, all racing to collect data before the anomaly slipped away. What began as a routine comet observation soon evolved into one of the most complex multi-agency collaborations in decades. Cosmic rays travel the galaxy at nearly the speed of light, and for billions of years, they bombard anything that drifts between the stars. For 3i Atlas, this exposure left scars, an outer shell estimated between 15 and 20 meters thick, chemically altered by radiation over eons. Dr. Roma Magiolo's team, presenting at the 2025 Paris Winesau Conference, proposed that galactic cosmic rays transform simple ices into dense, carbon-rich crusts, producing a tough red layer of complex organics. Their simulations matched what telescopes were seeing. Using the James Webb Space Telescope and the Spherex Survey, Dr. Michael Corden's group measured chemical ratios that broke every rule of cometary chemistry. Water vapor, normally 80% of a comet's volatile output, barely reached 4%. Carbon dioxide dominated, over seven times more abundant than water. That imbalance was confirmed by multiple instruments across multiple nights. The surface spectra told a similar story. Optical and near-infrared data revealed a deep, brick-red slope, about 27% higher reflectivity per thousand angstroms than baseline solar system comets. It was the color signature of heavy organic processing, the kind only seen in laboratory simulations of cosmic ray exposure. The crust hypothesis became the leading model, a hardened, irradiated shell trapping volatile ices beneath it. Until that shell eroded, 3i Atlas would behave like no other comet we've ever studied, dominated by CO2 and carbon monoxide instead of water. For a while it made sense, but the deeper the data got, the stranger the story became. In mid-August, spectrographs from the Very Large Telescope in Chile flagged something that shouldn't exist. Strong nickel emission lines with almost no trace of iron. Historically, nickel and iron always appear together in cosmic material. The ratio is constant, locked by stellar nucleosynthesis. But 3i Atlas broke that rule too. Independent teams using ALMA and the Nordic Optical Telescope confirmed the signal. Nickel without iron. The ratio was several times higher than anything in the ESA Comet database. No one had ever seen a composition like it. Some speculated about supernova remnants or rare interstellar chemistry. Others blamed calibration errors. But the pattern persisted. If it holds under peer review, it would mean this object contains material that formed or was refined under conditions alien to our solar system. Then came September's polarimetry campaign, and with it, a new anomaly. Normally, when sunlight scatters through a comet's coma, polarization values fall within a predictable range. Mild negative polarization between minus 1 and minus 3 percent. 3i Atlas refused to cooperate. Telescopes in Hawaii and South Africa reported readings off the chart. 
Internal logs from Harvard's team used the phrase extreme negative, with numbers too low to publish without further calibration. No comet on record has shown polarization below minus 5%. The anomaly was double-checked, rotated, recalibrated, and still, it wouldn't vanish. By late September, the list of mysteries had grown too long to dismiss. Chemically, it didn't belong here. Optically, it behaved like no known comet, and dynamically, its orbit was just as strange. 3i Atlas follows a retrograde path, moving opposite the planets, yet hugging the ecliptic within 5 degrees. Its inbound trajectory threaded precisely between Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, an alignment with odds lower than 1 in 20,000 for a random interstellar visitor. Was it chance, survey bias, or a deeper pattern? The Minor Planet Center's simulation logs found almost no synthetic interstellar tracks that matched this geometry. The precision raised eyebrows and more than a few whispers about deliberate alignment. While astronomers debated statistics, the object itself was rewriting the script. In July, telescopes from Hawaii to South Africa captured something unprecedented. A comet firing a jet toward the sun, not away from it. A sunward plume that held its structure for weeks, defying basic radiation pressure. No standard dust model explained it. No projection trick or camera artifact could fake it. Even laboratory plasma simulations failed to reproduce the direction and stability of the jet. Was it a vented fracture, a buried volatile deposit, or something far stranger, perhaps electromagnetic forces at play? Whatever it was, the anomaly stayed. Then came October and the blackout. When 3i Atlas slipped behind the sun for eight days, every major observatory was on edge. Then, on October 29th, as it rounded perihelion, the data lit up. Photometric curves from SOHO and STEREO showed a sudden eruption in brightness, an art of the minus 7.5 law, far steeper than any known comet. Within hours, its color signature shifted dramatically blueward, so bright in the ultraviolet that amateur astronomers flooded networks with images tagged Blue Comet. For a brief moment, 3i Atlas outshone expectations by magnitudes, glowing bluer than the sun in specific filters. Professional teams scrambled for telescope time. Agencies convened emergency meetings. Then came another shock. The comet's predicted position didn't match reality. When astrometric teams compared coordinates, they found a consistent 4 arcsecond offset. Tiny, but undeniable. Solar gravity alone couldn't account for it. The direction and timing implied a new, non-gravitational force, an acceleration or impulsive thrust that altered its momentum. If this was jet-driven, the mass loss required would be catastrophic. Roughly 10 to 15% of the entire nucleus gone in days. That's billions of tons of material. Yet no massive debris cloud appeared, no infrared excess, no extended coma. The space around 3i Atlas remained eerily clean. ALMA's millimeter scans, Hubble's optical frames and SOHO's coronagraph images all agreed. The object was intact, its coma sharp, its dust minimal. Whatever drove that acceleration, it wasn't ordinary outgassing. Now the clock is ticking toward December 19th, 2025. When 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth at 0.27 astronomical units, every telescope capable of observing will be aimed its way. He will hunt for infrared water and organic signatures. Hubble and SOHO will scan for hydrogen lines, proof of water vapor if it exists. ALMA will look for nickel and cyanide in the millimeter band. Ground observatories from five continents will measure its brightness and position night after night, while the JUICE probe, still transmitting from deep space, will downlink its November data for analysis. Each dataset will test the competing theories. Does a dense debris cloud appear, confirming catastrophic mass loss? Does hydrogen emission spike, revealing buried water? Do nickel and cyanide rise together, hinting at an exotic or artificial origin? And does the anti-tail jet still point toward the sun, or vanish as physics reasserts itself? Each outcome is binary. Each answer either confirms the models or breaks them entirely. For now, 3i Atlas stands as a reminder that the cosmos still has surprises hidden in plain sight. A sunward jet, 
a blue surge that defies thermodynamics, a mass loss with no debris, and a trajectory that threads the inner planets like clockwork. Whatever the explanation turns out to be, whether natural, unknown, or engineered, one truth remains clear. 3i Atlas is forcing humanity to redraw the boundaries of what comets can be, and when December's results arrive, we may finally learn whether this interstellar visitor is rewriting the rules of physics, or just revealing how little we truly understand the universe we live in.